It's something no parent wants to think about. How do we respond? How should we respond? How could we respond given all of the things that could happen? What is the best scenario when everything is on the line? This is a training exercise that's becoming a more common practice for area educators. Several years ago, we as law enforcement community realized that during an active shooter incident, all the damage is done prior to the police arriving. So teachers are being taught how to be best prepared for the unthinkable in the name of safety and casualty prevention. So a few of us in the area went to training to be able to take the training further into the school and train the staff and the teachers uh, on what they can do prior to us arriving to make sure a better outcome. Klein is a member of a Keweenaw area multi-jurisdictional task force that's made up of members from the Houghton Police Department, Michigan State Police, and the Houghton County Sheriff's Department that has been assigned to handle these situations and the preparation for such an incident. After a classroom lesson where teachers learn how to better secure their own classrooms, Klein stepped into the role of the assailant, sending the staff on a simulated scramble. We use a blank gun during training. We want the teachers to be able to hear what an actual gun sounds like. They'll be able to smell the gunpowder. If someone's not familiar with a gun or has ever been around a gun when it's gone off, uh, this exposes them to what a, a gunpowder smells like uh, within the school. Because you could be on one end of the school and hear it, and it doesn't necessarily sound like a gunshot. When asked if anyone thought that an active shooter incident could not occur here, not one person raised their hand. And that's what we're here doing to have best case uh, scenarios, best practice, making sure the kids that leave households return to households because that's a very reasonable expectation. I'm Lee Snitz for ABC 10 and the CW5.